Hi there. Um, I am Michelle Dean. I am an elementary librarian and I am um, in school at the present time, so I am recording my Chromebook takeaways. So um, first of all, um, the very first thing that stuck with me was um, we were all given one-to-one um, -one with Chromebooks and students walked in with them and we just started using them. So these first several things were highly valuable for me because um, we really weren't given much information about them. So I loved the little clip about what the Chromebook actually is and that it's always a new computer. And I actually think I'm going to show this to my students just to give them a little bit of that knowledge as well, because they are kind of just given them as well and they kind of just know how to use them right away, um, but don't really know um, those little details about them. Um, I also love the keyboard shortcuts. Like I've always known some of the basics like control C, control V, you know, bold, italicize, um, undo, but there, if there's a maze, I could never figure out how to page up and page down on a Chromebook. So it was very easy for me to do it on my computer, but it was always very difficult for me to try to figure out how to do that on a student's computer, especially when we're doing research and have to scroll to the very bottom of a very large article. So I'm so happy I know how to page up and down now. Um, but there's many of those um, keyboard shortcuts that are highly valuable and I'm so happy that we learned them. I am actually going to be making a, um, a laminated sheet that has all of our keyboard shortcuts on the front and back and kind of just keeping at each of my tables in their bins in case they want to use them. I also liked the casting feature. Um, I knew of this slightly, but I didn't know of its full capability. And now I like that I can cast, um, I can project my Chromebook to my projector by casting it through my computer. But then the kids can also cast their screens if they want to show um, any of their findings or things that they have created. So I love the casting component. The other takeaway is the Chrome management discussion that we had. Um, I love Chrome management in that I have a room where my students are all sitting in different directions, so I cannot see all of their screens. I can probably only see one fourth of their screens. So um, I do really like this feature. I liked the discussion that came up. I never thought about the fact that it could kind of um, make teachers just stay in their seats or whatnot, but I do not have that option even though I wouldn't anyway. I truly have to be around the room and using this Chromebook and that Chrome management, it really helps a lot. And, um, and the fact that the students know that I have their computer screens in front of me really does help keep things under control because I have a very, it was very easily taken over by them just thinking that they could do whatever they want and they can't do that. It's not their Chromebook, it's the school's Chromebook. So this was a really good discussion, but I really um, do need to use this and I think there are better ways to use it too. Um, another takeaway is screencasting. I am going to be doing this a lot um, which connects to this faux flipped classroom. Um, I am going to be doing a lot of screencasts because a lot of the stuff that I, that I teach um, are how to use sources and, um, and um, how to use a library catalog. So I'm doing a lot of how-to stuff. Um, and I like the idea of creating the screencasts and then posting them onto my, um, my, Google Classroom, and then it's like they can just access everything online right then and there, and I can, you know, kind of um, um, just guide them and patrol around to make sure that everyone is on the same page and that I can help the kids who truly need help instead of just repeating myself um, and teaching and teaching because kids just didn't feel like paying attention. So this way um, they can learn on their own at their pace and they can watch it as many times as they need to or as little as they need to and then I can monitor and adjust where needed. So I really like the idea of the screencasting to help with this um, flipped type classroom, um, which really puts me in two places at the same time. So since I'll be doing a lot of screencasting, I actually like the idea of PlayPosit. I thought this was super easy to use, and I love that it does, um, it, it just brings in another component for um, 
for the activities. So I don't want to create a Google form for every single thing or, um, you know, it just really helps differentiate along with quizzes too. So I, I love the idea of these to help with the differentiation because I will be doing a lot of the screencasting and online and bringing this into an online component type course, um, which then leads to um, my other takeaway is just being able to differentiate with all these apps and extensions is just absolutely fantastic. And, um, and you know, we can, you know, kind of Chromebook them to death or um, um, do a little bit too much of the same thing. I mean, really in all of our areas of teaching, but with this, I love the fact that everything is so different that it truly is differentiating, even though they're on the same device doing um, different, but it's just different things. And I think that's fantastic. The other thing that stuck with me, and I even shared this today with some coworkers, um, was um, the 12 things that will disappear in 12 years. I just, I can't believe it. And it's just insane how quickly things are changing and how fast the years go by. And I truly think that a lot of this will disappear in 12 years or maybe even sooner. And, um, and some of the things like it's, it just made me wonder, like, why are we even doing that anymore at all? Um, so I do think desks will definitely disappear soon. I don't know about retinal scans with passwords, but maybe fingerprint scanning and all that kind of stuff. So I really do think these things will change and possibly even sooner than 12 years. So that is, um, those are my Chromebook takeaways. And I really enjoyed this course and I can't wait to apply these things within my library. Um, three through five classroom.